Hey y'all, so I decided I was going to record a bonus video for the week. I am going to see Black Panther today. So I was like, you know what, let me wear my fro. So right here, I've already cleaned my hair with the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. And I've also already put in my leave-in, the Trader Joe's Nourishing Spa Conditioner. So I'm going to go ahead and skip on to my styling process. For my fro, I'm not looking for, you know, com complete definition. So when I go through the sections, all I'm doing is applying the oil to already applied leave-in. And then I go in with a little Eco Olive Oil Eco Styler Gel just so I can have some curls within the fro. So I apply the olive oil and then the Eco Styler Gel to my entire head. stop for a minute um to go into detail about what i actually did with my hair um for this wash day i initially was going to do a protective style which i am going to probably do that sometime this week but because i'm going to see black panther i was like you know what i need to wear my fro today so um i did still use uh as i am coconut co-wash I like to use this when I do my protective styles. So I'll, I'll talk about that in my video that I'm gonna make about me doing my protective style. But I did use the coconut, uh, coconut co-wash from As I Am. And then um, for my conditioner, I used the Trader Joe's Nourish Spa Conditioner. I love this stuff. And I mean, it gives me good slip. And I, I use this as my leave-in too love it as a leave-in when I'm going to wear my fro or wash and go because it just it clumps my curls together and then I did do the Apple G texture treatment today um I use this stuff well <laughs> there it is um did use that today just because um I have been using it every week and then last week I tried, you know, um, some new stuff, but I was like, let me use that since I know it works as far as, you know, my wash days go and getting my curls and any elasticity to um, come all together. And I already showed in the video the olive oil I use. It leaves my hair super moisturized. And so this is what it's looking like right now and i am going to let it dry a little bit i'm about to go eat me some cereal <laughs> i'm gonna let it dry a little bit and then i will come back and show you uh, what it's like halfway dry and then i'm going to diffuse the rest like my roots because my roots take a little bit longer to dry but this will be like this so i will be back
guys, this is my hair all dry. Um, I have not done anything to it. I diffused it and that was it. Um, because as the days go by, my hair gets a lot bigger. But like I said, I just wanted to come and show how I do my Afro look. Because I'm going to see Black Panther today. You have not went to see it. You need to go see it. Well, I haven't went to see it, but I'm just saying y'all need to go see it. And um, because it's still Black History Month, I was like, let me just get him a bonus video because this wasn't in the plans. But yes, and I will be protective styling for the next couple of weeks. So I was like, let me just get him one more video with my hair out. And so this is my hair. I'll show you the back of it. And I have freeze everywhere because you see, you seen in the video that I did um, my hair in big sections. I didn't do the shingling method. That's usually what I do when I want to, you know, achieve this. Um, if I want to define wash and go, then I'll go and do piece by piece. But I wasn't really going for that. And this is the second time I've done this eye this week because I just love that little purple accent right there. Like it just sap. I mean, it just pops. So, but like, comment, subscribe. This is a bonus video, like I said. I'll be uploading another video sometime this week. Talk to you all in the next video.